Ah, deep breath. That was a lot of work. But we did pretty good, I feel accomplished. Here's Dave's house. Pre Avenue. Nice gardening that Allison kept up till she passed. Doug's house it used to be Lorraine Templeton's house right next door. Here, water. Oh, I guess that's gas and stuff. Um, I have the water turned off already. Uh, yeah, I didn't uh, take any pictures of the back backyard but maybe friends and stuff can come and grab any kind of tools things they need uh, after the estate closes um, there's some uh, some books in there I think there's even some art books in there I didn't get to um, but these I think are uh, movie posters that uh, haven't been used yet so uh there's all those posters in the basement so maybe the buddies can uh frame up posters that mean something to them and hang them on their walls barbecue usable not in great shape um deck favorite discoveries that I have no claim to at all is uh, this garden furniture and there was another table and two chairs that I've taken if nobody wants these then I'll uh, grab the whole the whole set would be awesome there's a uh, Dave's car that Nathan wants once the estate closes. I didn't even open the shed. Looks like it may be locked anyways. I don't want to get on the road and get back to my family, so I'm going to, uh, to not worry about that. Okay, in the house, basement, Dave's floor. Um, and upstairs where he was unfortunately forced to, uh, to take up residence. There's one thing that I, a little interesting little cubby hole up here. Never found the right ladder to get up there, so there's some, some stuff up there. To be interesting to somebody. And then in the kitchen, cleaned out the fridge. There's some garbage. Shouldn't get stinky or anything, so I'll let Justin know. You can take that next time he comes or whatever. Take it out to the bins. I don't know if they're still picking up, probably. We're still probably paying taxes and all that stuff. Um, yeah, this is the only area I didn't get tidied up really because the paperwork's coming in and I don't didn't want to touch too much because Justin was going through it as well. Neat art in the kitchen. Art, art everywhere. Um, yeah. Documented the stuff in the kitchen. Um, front door. Living room. Justin was saying no one had been in the living room for years when I came over in April. So, I kind of just... Uh, Tested it a little bit and tidied it up in here. Made it look like uh, inviting. And then my plan was to start uh, documenting artwork, collectibles and things, and start bringing them up here. And this would be where things were done. I don't think I got to this. I heard Auntie Pam did the uh, 
the glass work on this unit. Darlene and Richard, I'm going to contact them about this chair. They got that for Dave to get up and at. And moving easier, but he says, I don't need that. He's a young man still. Um, yeah, so he, here's a, a bunch of the boxes that I did already go through the art and document. I documented all the art that's in the living room hanging on the walls. So, for example, you got Pam G number five, Pam G number seven, things that I could tell um, were Pam's. And then uh, VHS room closet. Got uh, three boxes of those things and a couple loose pieces over here. Um, but there's still a bunch in the closet that I didn't didn't quite get to. It's just uh, it's a room that David has a whole bunch of VHS boxes uh, piled up. is full of VHS tapes that he collected. Uh, yeah, a few little pieces here. I put this box underneath because um, it has some pieces that I think are part of this collection. Um, and it said, I was just doing all Pam stuff, but this one was addressed to Allison, I think. And um, and these were probably, obviously, Allison's because they're in her house already out. Uh, nice furniture. This is a little horse that was a gift, I think, from Allison to um, uh, Ken. So Justin knows about that, and he's going to take that when he gets a chance. Uh, there's a drum ground chair. In here, in this unit, there's a whole bunch of electronics equipment. I put all the CDs that were around in there as well. Uh, so, oh, and there's cassette tapes down in the bottom that could be uh, collectibles. They look like they're in really good shape. This is kind of some random stuff, um, new stuff that hadn't been opened yet. And, and I think down there there's some new stuff as well, but I'm not, not exactly sure what this stuff is. Uh, just kind of the last things that Dave was in the process of doing kind of in the front entrance, so... Just put it all together in his chair, which uh, has co-op on it somewhere. So maybe uh, he got it. He rented it from co-op or some of this uh, medical stuff. Hopefully, we can get it back. Um, let's start with Dave's room here. Um, this is of course where I found him, and so I wanted to make just a little kind of a. I don't know, shrine to him or something. Uh, I couldn't really come in here and do anything in August because it was it's a little overwhelming. Um, but I got it, it nice now. These were like the last clothes he was wearing. This is uh, his leg and cane. And uh, when he was in chef school, when he graduated or had a year end ceremony or something, I'm not so sure. We got uh, the part that fits on his stump, like some bandaging and stuff. Anything that was clean, I left with it. And then it goes into the prosthetic. This looks like an old thing, like a walking cast. Uh, I don't know if that's what he started with, with the prosthetic, or that was something when his leg was giving him issues. Um, I stripped all the sheets. It was a little just funky in here, just stale. Um, so it smells a lot better. And then it's more inviting. Everything's clean in here for the most part. There's a few things that didn't have any smell, so I didn't bother washing them. Um, in the back closet here, uh, there's uh, some dirty clothes that he had in the basket. I washed those. I didn't, I couldn't really tell if there's, uh, there's stuff in the hamper here. I couldn't tell if it was clean or dirty. It looked like those were some freshly washed shirts. Um, I went all, all through here and there wasn't anything. Um, I don't know what I was going to say there. Uh, I think I was looking for the bracelet, so the, the bracelet wasn't in here. Is where I was going with that. I don't know if I looked in the drawer of this thing. Nope. Um, 
And up here is uh, some stationery, but it looks like it's all blank. Hangers that have never been used. Over here is his walker. Well, I was gonna bring that wheelchair in here. Um, but I, maybe I'll use it to just block off the living room when I leave. Um, this is all new stuff. Things still in their packaging that look like they've never been opened. Um, although this, this may be, I think this is some headphones I did end up taking. I ended up taking his, um, two of his phones. Cause I know a guy in Salt Spring, uh, Colton that, uh, may find a, be able to find a way into those. Um, Justin was interested in the laptop. He said not a necessary thing or anything, but if nobody else wants it, he'd, he wouldn't mind having that, he said. Uh, I was going to take the baby Yoda back to Brian, but apparently it's somebody's friend. I think one of the kids gave, um, um, friend's kid gave it to him. So maybe they'll want that back. There's a neat little list here. I took pictures of it. It looks like it could be passwords. And then it's like just little handwritten phone numbers for his buddies. Went through all the drawers. There's pictures of all of those in detail. Yeah, that's the rest of the room. A couple of guards. One laptop on the bottom looked like a stand or something underneath it. That's about it in here. Uh, yeah, I was not, I was gonna bring the wheelchair in here, but I'm not. Right here. I'll leave the door open. Um, and this back room was David's room apparently, and he's going to uh, our Justin's said that he look look into this room I think because there's a lot of Ken stuff. And I'm, it's like the household stuff. So I don't know what was Dave's or what was Allison's or what was some of Graham Graham stuff may have ended up here and here. There's like some Pam stuff. I just honestly don't know, but um, Justin may have a better understanding of that. And yeah, there's just things like I found a lot of paperwork that was Ken's and Allison's in this thing. So I just leave it for for Justin. Justin's going to deal with obviously his uh, his dad's stuff and um, and what he can handle of Allison's stuff. Uh, I didn't clean up the bathroom. I didn't get to cleaning. I was just working on tidying and organizing. Um, it's the bathroom where they attempted a renovation and. Uh, Oh, I was looking for some clean linens for the boss, uh, bathroom downstairs because there wasn't anything. Paper towel, so I'll take one of those. Um, yeah, so the bathroom's done. And I had these, um, whatever you call them, cupboards. Hallway cupboards, there's mostly Allison and Ken's, like some precious items down in the bottom down here. Um, the rest is like cleaning supplies and stuff. But I don't know if it's Ken's family, like old pictures and paperwork and things, or whether it's Allison's family. And I didn't do much in here except look for the bracelet a little bit. But there's Allison's jewelry, and I said to, to Justin that would probably be best. He's, he's got a wife that probably wears jewelry. You may have noticed some pieces on Allison that she liked. Um, he's got two daughters as well. Um, so he's just going to take pictures of anything he, that he's interested in. And and maybe somebody that knows more about jewelry can work on getting that kind of stuff appraised. Or when I do the art, I can throw the jewelry in with that. Um, yeah, there's some interesting art in here. I took a few pictures of it, mostly African stuff. Um but I didn't document everything and I didn't go through every little drawer or cubby hole. Um, yeah, both Ken and Allison passed in this room. 
And I think that's it. Uh, don't have anything to do here. Looks like there's an attic up there. There could be more stuff up there. Uh, everything's here. I was going to block off when I was done the wheelchair because that will that'll keep people from uh, entering the room. There you go. Dave and Graham together there. Wheelchair and Graham's chair. I like that. Uh, what else? Oh, there was um, this front closet. There's a suit in there that I think Dave wore to Kyle's wedding. And uh, there was also a leather coat in here that uh, looked like it uh, had never been worn. And it was like high 200s, low $300 range or something. And I thought maybe uh, it fit me nice. So I thought maybe that would be a, a payment. Uh, the work that I've done and uh, didn't have any claim to that either um, but uh, then I don't have to build the estate or anything Justin thought it was a good idea he said it looked good on me too um, yeah and then there's the latest mail I brought in and then we're back here and I think there was one in thing that may be interested in if nobody else is but we are pack rats so i shouldn't get it but there is a the old uh oscar or whatever blender and um downstairs i'm really interested in the blender that's grams and her her stuff because uh i remember that being used and i think she had both versions uh, but everybody had this this blender that's up in this kitchen um, but she had the metal earlier version so that's the one I would like to take and I think it's still working even if it's not I probably would never use it anyways okay so that's the kitchen remember visiting and just seeing into the kitchen basically I didn't really come into the house before all of this seeing birds and dogs talking with Allison she had a cigarette. There's the, uh, I think, it, yeah, it was Alex that uh, broke in. Um, when Dave, yeah, just wouldn't leave with his flesh eating disease and was passed out or in real, real rough shape. And he got him to the hospital. I sure appreciate he was there and kept him going a little bit longer. So at least I could have that one last visit in person in the house here. Um, before he passed in August. Um, yeah, so down here, where should we start? I took pictures of all the artworks on the walls, I think. But in here, I didn't get to. And David, when I came over, he, um, he was showing me the this artwork here. So the artwork that's in this room may have some some real value. Uh, I think it's a lot of Andy Pam's, possibly some Uncle Jim's. I think he said. And uh, yeah, I just didn't didn't quite get to it. I I went through it quickly looking for for other things of Graham's, but uh, yeah, I didn't find anything. There's a bunch of tools around. I think some, those are Nathan's. Um, Justin wanted one sewing machine for his daughter. And there's a couple around in this room. And then, yeah, there's more artwork that I never got through. I um, was able to get the water turned on and do some laundry. Dave's, Dave's uh, bedding. In here, oh, in the back room, there's... Uh, yeah, like the old family stuff. There was one interesting, like a musical instrument or something on the wall here. Can you see it? Anyways, it's typical stuff you'd find in this room. Old tools and old skis and paint and and uh, and, and I guess the gas meter and the, the central vac and all of those things. So, And I don't know. That's a, that's a cool little... Uh, Bassinet, it looks uh, really old, probably has a lot of value. 
but hopefully it has some sentimental value to somebody and they'll take it. Um, yeah, I think we're done with that. Uh, I just left the box there just to block off the room to show that I was done with it. Uh, in here, uh, this, yeah, looks again like family stuff that could be David's or Ken's, Ken's or Allison's and stuff, so I'll leave that for Justin. Take a look at, yeah, and then we go into here and first thing we see is all the DVD collection, some cookbook type stuff. I uh, documented it all pretty well. From a distance, that was one of the last things I did today, so I was a little rushed. Um, yeah, I'm tired. Uh, but yeah, everything down here is, I, I got a pretty good sense of what's where and whose stuff is, is what. The last thing I did is Dave had a bunch of shoes. I think they're like size 10, so hopefully a friend has the same size feet. Mine are a little big, unfortunately. And because uh, they're all brand new shoes, so somebody could get some use out of those. Or, of course, they can be sold. Um, here's uh, some of Dave's personal items that I organized. So these may be some knickknacks that uh, that Brian may be interested in. He always liked like the old style games and stuff. But I wanted to leave it here for friends in case there's some kind of something that they gave him personally and so then he doesn't uh and they can get that back um in the Terra box there's a bunch of like paperwork uh like just like kind of personal paperwork and cards and there's a couple of bits from our obituaries from a friend that passed and things like that so friends would probably have a better idea they may they may trigger some memories they can go through that I created uh, one bin for stationary pen type stuff and then one for tools. This is collectibles. He, um, I would be interested in the coin collection, but maybe he has a friend that he collects coins with too. And there's a book with uh, some hockey cards. I really like the Flames hockey cards, but again, if there's a friend that wants them, I don't, I don't, I don't need them in any way. And then there's some kind of... Um, anime cards or something anyways that's all collectible type stuff and then we get over here um i'm just guessing i don't recognize this furniture so i'm guessing this there's a bunch of these chairs i'm guessing that's auntie pam's and so all of this stuff i believe is auntie pam's and it's yeah just tons of art um this is all paperwork stuff that can probably just go uh, but there's personal things in there and if she had any kind of family member that would care about that it would be nice to save a, a couple pieces of it just to get a personal thing to them um i forgot what's in the big box but it was auntie pam's i think it's like throw pillows or i don't know something that i could tell was hers i didn't know in here if these books were somebody whose they were or these random items. Um, there's a video camera in here and a tripod. Those are in the closet. So those actually may be Dave's. I probably should have put them back in the closet where there's Dave's clothes and um, some video game consoles in the back or boxes and one actual PlayStation 3 or something in there. Again, electronics. Everything's obviously Dave's at this point, but I wasn't sure where the computers came from. And then there's, yeah, more stuff that needs to be dealt with. TV, didn't know whose that was. That could have even been Graham's or something. Graham didn't have any kind of electronics. So and then there's all kinds of books, a whole bunch of National Geographic's, probably worth money. And these are the posters I was talking about. So those are the posters that maybe could go in the frames out on the deck. Um, if anybody's interested in those most movie posters, then they have something to remember watching movies with Dave, which seemed like a big thing. Might as well take a look in the closet. So I'm standing right there. Yeah. All his old clothes. Nathan was said he was 
interested in his old clothes, so that's kind of cool. And it's kind of neat to go see see some of the clothes there that you recognize from certain pictures. Yeah, it's a yeah overwhelming amount of art um, and stuff that's probably worth some good money. So I'll go through it and uh, just get it to the right places. And yeah, this is the back room. So this is the VHS room because all those boxes in the back there say VHS on them. And Dave, when I came over, he said that's really important. He wanted some of those because they were collectibles. And who was it? Uh, one of the friends said that he may be interested in it. Was it Nathan or something? Adam? I'm not sure. Uh, anyways, I think... All this stuff in the back, I kind of recognize from Pure Imports, and I know Graham shopped there. So there's some of that, but it could be Andy Pam's, it could be Allison's. This artwork is what I recognize. But then everybody kind of bought the same stuff, so I'm not so sure about that. Um, I don't recognize that any of the furniture, really. Um, there's a bunch of artwork on this uh, shelf. Got well documented. This is full of, like electronics boxes but a lot of it has the actual items in it and a lot of it has never been opened over here i never got this cleaned up on top it was like pam's stuff but i don't think it's art it's like oh it's christmas christmas decorations um and then i didn't really know who's any of this stuff was so i just left it um this is the most important things to me personally and Brian um this will be like the gram keep pile so it could use some more sorting and, and some stuff doesn't need to come but um today one of the last things I found which was just amazing is the family chest Graham's family chest in the back it has a ton of crap in it that I couldn't even start to look at because it was just overwhelming uh, tons of stuff that people alive now, sorry, talking about Brian and me, um, have never seen. Probably. So that's pretty cool. And then another cool thing was this action garage. Um, one of Dave's friends that spent a lot of time at Graham's um, is having a kid. So that may be a good thing, but I, I wouldn't mind that for, for my kids' kids. Uh, same with this. I remember playing this little farm, farm game. Um, the top here is a whole bunch of old medication for gram of grams. Um, so I just have to get that to a pharmacy or something where they can properly dispose of it. Uh, the boxes, I forgot exactly what, what's, I think the top thing is baby clothes, like super precious stuff. Again, like stuff that gram hand knit for, uh, like stuff that I would have wore, possibly stuff that uh, Brian and Michael wore. And then there's one, um, well, there's one box down there that says, uh, what's it called again? It's a piece of furniture, it has an interesting name, um, that was in our the dining room at Graham Graham's house. And then the other one says knickknacks. And then the, these boxes, yeah. There was a toy box. I took some of the toys that meant something to me. There's, yeah, another thing, kind of random items of Grams that I didn't quite get to. Yeah, some of it's things like your old blood pressure medication, but in one of those boxes is also that, that blender. And here's the coffee maker. Um, yeah, so this video, hopefully you can just have it on your phone and then you can walk around and it will all make perfect sense. Um, and here is a closet where I said that a VHS room closet uh, artwork. And this is the kind of stuff that I've been dealing with is, is just so much artwork and a lot of it like signed and numbered and limited edition prints. And, uh, and so, yeah. I just feel like honoring the artist and getting it to a gallery or an auction house 
has been suggested to me. This uh, Trans Mountain chest looks like um, Ken's chest. A lot of papers in there, so I will tell Justin that it's in here. And this is just uh, mostly st stationary that uh, has never been used. And now, uh, yeah, so we're back out. Done with that room, done with this room. Shoes, oh, um, some of the artwork, I didn't know whose it was, but I recognize these posters that Brian used to have and Justin said they're David's. So of course he wouldn't know that Brian gave them to him. So Brian may be interested in something like that. If you come in here, you got another bathroom in rough shape, um, but relatively clean. And, uh, yeah. Oh, and I brought a... Where did I put it? I brought down... Oh. Headphones that I took. I brought down a hand towel so that there's... There was some dirty stuff in here. And... Put that stuff in the laundry room. So I'm putting the washing machine. Something. There you go, all pretty pretty. So people can wash their hands in here. Get the soap out of the package. Down here is the get way down. That's the water shut off. So I've shut it off. The wrench is attached. So when you're here, you can turn it on. Shower. Not very clean, but uh Usable, probably. The one upstairs, not as much. Uh, okay. The bathroom's done. And now we're into Dave's space. So this was like his... This was the area where he was hanging out. Mostly he had all of his DVDs. You can see back when he still has some of his VHS out. Um, things are like with genre like action and fantasy and then you got some CDs and uh, video games back in here was just like uh, repair stuff and empty boxes things like that that they things hadn't got got to yet Nathan was trying to help him out with some of that stuff with repairs but it looked like he was pretty handy too and could handle Repairing things and then like his his entertainment unit. Not as nice as Kyle's screen out there, I must say, but but pretty nice. And uh, I took some what did I get? A receiver and a DVD um player and a couple speakers for Brian. Um he took those and I recognize these chairs as Brian's at one time. Um the only items in here that I would be interested in. Um, this one, I think, I, yeah, I should take this one. And then Brian may want it. So this was definitely Graham's. And, um, so one of us should have it on Salt Spring for sure. This chair, I'm not sure if it was Ken's or Brian's at one time, or, or maybe Dave just got it himself. Um, but I could use a, a recliner. I don't have one right now. So that would be nice, but if a friend wants it, it's not a big deal. Um, yeah, nice big screen TV. Uh, this stuff in the middle is uh, is Alice and stuff, I'm pretty sure. Um, um, but it, it could be Pam's and Graham's too. But uh, yeah, there was some evidence, some paperwork and some items. So um yeah, Ken and uh, Alice and stuff, so maybe Justin can go through that. This over here is all Ken's paperwork and stuff and briefcase and folders. I could always tell his stuff because there would be bricklayers, union type stuff in it. Um, I think Brian and him worked together in the brick, as bricklayers went to point. Uh, this is a neat little table. I would, th would think it would have some value. It doesn't really... 
um, speak to me as something I would want, but uh, I did pull it out of the back room. So it was probably um, Pam's. Um, I, it could have been Graham's, and I, I wasn't so sure. I just can't quite place it. So, uh, so I'm thinking probably Pam's. Um, this was Dave's bed. I recognize this from uh, Brian's place off of 17th Avenue. I think is when he got it. Uh, so that one can't Dave came over, he had a bed to sleep on, and I guess he stayed sleeping on this bed until he had to go upstairs. So I made it nice. Took the took the uh, comforter or whatever blanket off the chair. It was on the chair. Lay it down because it was really dusty. It had all the boxes that had come down from upstairs. And then this, some of this stuff was on Dave's bed upstairs, the gray stuff. Um, I washed the, I washed the, uh, the pillowcases anyways. I don't think I washed this. It didn't smell. So, uh, so it's nice. Then there's two beds here that are clean. So if anybody wants to stay here, then there's, uh, there's beds to stay, uh, sleep in. Um, I think that's everything. So that's the whole house. And that's probably a long video, but um, the other thing uh, Justin did point out is that some of these sculptures probably have quite a bit of value. So I'll work on getting those appraised. There is a couple up in the living room, I think, in boxes. Yeah, a lot of Pam's boxes were, were sculptures of, um, yeah, Asian stuff. And uh, Inuit and things like that. But some of that may be Allison's as well. So that that's it. Uh, again, there's some tools here. When we thought uh, Dave may have been drinking that the day he passed, I came and went. That's the only evidence of alcohol. So I don't think he is a closet, closet drinker. And if he is, he's a really, really good closet drinker. But Nathan said some of that was his. Um... He's coming over and doing repairs. Some of the tools here are probably his. And uh, he said he'd pick that up when he gets to it. And uh, yeah. Well, let's leave the house. I feel accomplished. And uh, lock things up. Turn off the lights. Well, I was coming over, I was leaving that light on. You know, it's probably a good light to leave on because it kind of shines through the front window as well. So it looks like somebody may be around. And I got keys. I can give these keys to Jay. Lock this one on the back. And no keys if we're not out here at the same time. And that door does close. You don't have to force it shut. This one, you gotta lift a little bit to get it to close. That's good. Fridge, I didn't even look in there. Hopefully there's nothing. Well, there was a freezer down in the laundry room that did have food in it and I didn't get to deal in with that. So I left it on, but it could probably get cleared out sooner than later and then not using electricity. Not a fire hazard. I did unplug like all of his electronics like from the walls and things and where I could unplug things I did that just in case and yeah that's all of it here and I think my phone's about to die so that's kind of good Ali oh this is the uh lavender bush in uh I think grade one or two when I was at St. Luke's we came down and uh on recess and I think just pulled all the flowers off it smelled so good and we were just didn't know what we were doing and the next day there was a whole school assembly about respecting people's property because the lady had complained 
where Allison lived here. And they were still on 19th Street. And together. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, so I got the, some, some good items in here. I won't get into it, but everything's documented and I've asked permission. Or we'll tell people later. And so there's Dave. Bye Dave, bye Dave's house.